Good morning, boys and girls. This morning, we're gonna be starting topic 11 in our green math pages. Now, I don't want you to do the front page today. I just want you to do that review sheet. There are six problems on the back. I'd like you to do all of that before you continue with today's math lesson. Thank you again to all the kids that got on happy numbers yesterday. I need a few more of you to go on and do that first test. Thank you. All right, now we're gonna start 11.1. I'm gonna read the dialogue box. How can thinking about four minus one help you to find 40 minus 10? Use place value blocks to help you. All right, I have four place value blocks. Now remember, each long is worth 10. So while I have four and I could take away one, I also have the equation 40 minus 10. 10, 20, 30, 40. I'm gonna remove 10, and how much do I have left? 10, 20, 30. Good job. So how does four minus one, it's still the same, isn't it? 40 minus one, I'm still taking away four minus one. And those kinds of things I can do in my head, can't I? All right, let's turn the page. And now we're gonna look at what the little girl has up at the top. Now this whole math lesson from, for about the next couple of weeks after we come back from vacation, we're gonna be subtracting tens. Now last week and the week before and the week before that, we were only adding tens. Now we're gonna do the opposite, okay? Great thing. You know how to subtract ones. You just count backwards, or you can do it on the number line. So when we're just doing tens, you're going to do the same thing. We're just gonna be using bigger numbers and I can do this very well using my longs. So there's five tens. Do you see the five longs? And we're gonna cross one out. Five tens minus one ten is four tens. Now look at the next box. Do you see what they did? Five tens is really the number 50, and one ten is really equal to the number 10. So if I have 50 minus 10, I'm gonna equal it to four tens. And you are so smart, you already know that four tens is really the number 40. So now we get 50 minus 10 equals 40. All right, now let's do the next one together. Let's count how many longs I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I have seven tens, and you're just going to trace over all the numbers that the math book has in store for you. Seven tens minus one ten, and do you see they crossed out one of our longs? So how many do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tens. Now we're going to take the words and turn them into numbers. Seven tens is really equal to 70. One ten is equal to 10. And six tens is equal to 60. All right, let's try number two together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tens. Okay, now how many did they cross off? JJ, can you see that for me? Correct, they crossed off two tens. And we're gonna count the leftovers. One, two, three, four. Jersey, how many leftovers? Four. Now do you see they added those words after each one? We're not just subtracting six minus two equals four, we're actually subtracting tens. So now we're gonna go back and we're going to tell what the number is, okay? All right, Faith, what is six tens? 
60. Good girl. And Noelle, I'm going to pick on your table today. What is two tens really equal to? 20. Good job. Liza, I'm going to go right around a circle at your table. What is four tens really equal to? 40. Good job. All right, let's read that sentence together. 60 minus 20 equals 40. Now let's do 6 minus 2 equals 4. I'm going to put up 6 fingers, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And I'm going to take away 2. And how many fingers do I have left? 4. So 6 minus 2 equals 4. We know that to be true. But now we're going to turn them into 10s. 60 take away 20 equals 40. And I see Luke and Maddox and Wes and Case and your table all got that right. Julian, how are you doing over there? Elijah, got it? Izzy, Daphne, your table's okay? Travis, what about table one? Everybody got it over there? Good job. Eleanor, you still working? Okay, good job. I see a thumbs up. All right, Isaiah, how about your table? Kaylin, Isaiah, Allie, I know I'm missing a couple of you. Soraya, you there? Emery, got it? Good job. Now, I need you to go to the next table. Javi, I hope you're tuning in today. You're going to do the same thing on all these problems, okay? I shouldn't call them problems. They're just math stories. You're going to tell me how many total there are. Then we're going to subtract the ones that are crossed off. Now, if you need to do this little clue, after I've crossed one off, I could circle my leftovers. And you are more than welcome to do that on your paper. Okay. Remember, at the end of the week, I will have all the answers posted at the bottom of the website. The next page, I do want you to do number seven. I do want you to try number eight. And if you would like to do 90, you can, but I'm not going to make you do it, okay? But everybody must do. Number 10 is a must do, okay? All right. Love you all. See you later. Bye-bye.